Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Well, since Adobe released Photoshop 2021, I've done three videos covering some of the new features in this version of Photoshop. I did a video covering the new sky replacement feature. I did a video covering the new narrow filters. And I did a video covering the new hair selection technology that is in this version of Photoshop. If you haven't seen any of those videos, I'll have links to them in the description below this video. Well, today I wanted to do another video covering something new that's in Photoshop. And I was looking over Adobe's list of the new features of Photoshop 2021, and I really didn't see anything that I thought would be of great interest to the photographer, but I still wanted to do a Photoshop video. So I opened up Photoshop this morning and I was just nosing around the menus, looking for something that I could do for a video. And I found something that is new in this version of Photoshop, but I haven't seen anyone really talking about it. And this new feature really helps when you have an image like this. This scene was really a high dynamic range scene. Of course, it's a sunset. I have very bright sun in there. And because I was shooting directly in the sun, everything else is really pretty dark. So there's a lot of dynamic range. Images like this can be very difficult to process because when I try to open up those shadows, I'll tend to open up the dark blue sky and open up the dark parts of the clouds and then it just looks kind of flat and doesn't look right. Well, this new feature will help you with an image like this and it borrows on the new sky technology features that are in this version of Photoshop. Uh, meaning, what if you have an image that has a great sky in it, but you don't want to replace the sky, you just want to select that existing sky so you could do some work on that sky. Well, there's a new sky selection feature. It's under select, it's along, it's there with the other select tools like color range, focus area, subject, and there you see sky. Just click on that and it will select the sky automatically. So you don't have to worry about trying to select it. Now it looks like it didn't select between the trees and stuff, but it actually did uh, select between those trees. You know, okay, it didn't select it. I will admit it didn't do like a perfect, perfect selection, but it's actually a good enough selection you'll see in a moment. And it did select part of the water, the highlights of the water. Well, I could still go in and get a selection tool and deselect those areas or select areas I want selected. So I could add to or remove from this automatic sky selection. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna leave it as is. Now, I really don't want to do anything right now, at least to the sky. I wanna do work to everything else. I wanna open up those shadows in the other part of the image, this part that isn't sky. So I'll just invert the selection. On my Mac, I'll hit Shift Command I. On a PC, you'd hit Shift Control I. And now I inverted the selection. So the rest of the image is selected instead of the sky. And then I'll go up and I'll get a levels adjustment layer. And because I had a selection, it will auto automatically mask the areas that I am going to be affecting with the levels uh, adjustment layer. And I'll just come in and like, I'll go to the midtones and I'll open up that bottom part of the image. You can see how now it looks a little more balanced already, right? So I could come in and I could like even bring highlights up a little bit and maybe just add a tiny, nah, didn't like that. But you could see how that um, just really helped the image and it was very, very easy to do. So there's before that uh, layer and there's after that layer. Now from here, I mean, I could still do adjustment layers if I want to do something with, um, with uh, saturation or anything like that. I could do that, or maybe I just want to bring it, uh, use the Adobe Camera Raw filter to really you know, process the image further. Well, what I'll do for, in that case, I could either flatten these layers or I could put a stamp layer on top and I'll put a stamp layer on top and that is a keyboard shortcut that is like twister for fingers. On a Mac, it's Shift, Option, Command, E. And you'll stamp every layer below together into one layer on top. If you have a PC, that's Shift, Alt, Control, E. And once I have that stamp layer, now I could go up to Filter and then down to Camera Raw Filter, and then it will open up the image in Camera Raw, and then I could do just some more processing here if I like. I might like maybe just add a touch of contrast. Um, like, I don't know. I really don't need to do a lot here. Maybe add a little bit of clarity, maybe a bit of vibrance. 
And, you know, but I'm not going to process the entire thing, but you get the idea. Um, overall, I could go to effects and put a dark vignette on the image. Something like that. And so you get the idea that uh, this new feature, I'll click OK. This new feature, I think, is, uh, is going to be coming in really handy for my uh, photography. Again, it's just this new selection uh, item under Select. You could select the sky automatically. That's it for this video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.